What is up guys, I'm back with another video and today we got the review of my Razor Blade 14. So in the previous video I said a little bit of things that this laptop featured like well just pretty much specifications but in this video I want to go more in depth about it. I still need to download more programs and I still need to like not get used to it. I'm already pretty familiar with this since I knew what was to be expected. But overall I really like this laptop, the design, everything like um as for like editing video and audio it hands down it's powerful enough to do pretty much anything you throw at it gaming wise editing wise anything much razor has done a good job in perfecting the the razor blade in all years that they've been releasing the razor blade it's been a uh, powerful and a lot of the people's choice for a pretty much a bad <laughs> laptop it's sleek powerful and great looking in my opinion I just love this laptop so I got a little bit of b-roll of this laptop me just editing a few stuff as you can see and just me being in Lightroom is as compared to my other laptop that I had my other computer it was it would just even crash when I would move a little just move any slider at all like my program would just crash and with this, I could just be on Lightroom for hours and hours and edit my stuff. So this is my razor blade. We've got two cooling fans at the bottom of the razor blade. We've got HDMI, USB 3.0, and Thunderbolt 3. On the other side, we have power in, two USB 3.0s, and a headphone jack. Full HD IPS display and our trackpad. Here's a test of the razor blade webcam. I believe this is a 1080p webcam, so you guys be the judge of the quality, but there is a microphone and LED. There's an LED located right next to the webcam, so it knows you're utilizing it, and you have microphones right next to the LED, like, if, like I'd say two centimeters away from it, so you guys be the judge of the quality, video quality and audio quality as well, so yeah exporting videos is also a breeze so we're looking at three minutes for a, a two minute long video so not bad at all i don't know if you guys heard on my on the last clip but the laptop does get a little bit noisy like i'd say pretty much when you're gaming or when you're rendering out a video you're gonna put a heavy load up on the machine right so it's it is gonna get loud but nothing compared to like the one i had it was it's i mean this one has an s the new one has an ssd all the one had a mechanical hard drive so you could definitely hear all that especially if you've used it up for quite a while they tend to get a little bit loud and it's yeah they, they get a little bit loud i need to go a little bit more in depth about the specs of the computer because i did say a little bit on the unboxing but just like the unboxing pretty much just like the unboxing i'm gonna say it again it's got a i7 7 hq not a k variant because k variant is the desktop but it's an hq model so that's it's a lot of power 2.8 base clock and 3.8 turbo clocked We've got 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, a GTX 1060, which you could, I could upgrade in if I buy a Razer Core or something, uh, just another GPU enclosure. Because now, since Thunderbolt 3 is out, you can the lim there's no limits to what you can do with the Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is so quick; it's pretty much going to be the new standard for a lot of new computers that are going to be coming out. It's so the the speed of Thunderbolt 3 goes up to 40 gigabits per second so that is extremely fast it's almost like a, the PCI protocol it's almost the same speeds so I could definitely slap on a newer desktop um, graphics card later on once I have enough money to buy that but that would be great and but still I mean the 1060 is good enough right now I've got six I think it's six or five gig gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM not a GDD 
GDDR5X RAM, but it's still okay. We got that and uh, 256 gigabytes of flash storage as I will play in the next clip. I will play. I will talk about it in the next um, screenshot that I took of it, which were the speeds, the result of it. You guys can see right now. Here are the results of the PCIe SSD that this razor blade has. We're looking at around 3,379 read speeds and 1,428 write speeds. So that is so good. You know, like as it's only going to get better at, in the upcoming years since Samsung's been doing a great job on their SSDs lately. And Intel also with their SSDs, so it's only going to get better throughout the years, trust me guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, please stay tuned to the channel, I've got more content coming up soon, it might take a while, but it should be doing it quicker now since I got this new machine, so that will be a big help out to my channel and my reselling business, just kidding, nah, but anyways, um, stay tuned. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.